Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this series from the Colouring Heaven Halloween special which they kindly sent to me free of charge. If you want to buy a copy, details are in the description as well as details about subscribing to the magazine and uh, they have sponsored this video series. But I forgot to mention that in the last video but there we go. Now today we are doing this cat. Now this is from the section from the Halloween special of pictures by Agatha Pop, um, who I know you may or may not know that I adore. So uh, we have the cutest, cutest cat. So uh, I'm just having a little think. Now because we're Halloween, you know, you will think, oh, or I will think, let's do black, black cats, Halloween. But I'm thinking, let's not go really black. Let's start with a lighter colour, build up some colours and make her cute and slightly less black. So I'm going to start. We're going to use cool greys because I think these are better um, with black and we might use a bit of black towards the end. So let's start with the cold grey 2. And what I'm going to do with my cold grey 2 is just put a layer, this is polychromos pencils by the way, is put a layer over her, all over her um, to start with of um, pencil. Now it's worth thinking about the direction that you're colouring in when you're doing fur. Um, her fur would go this way, I think, up and down, and then this way on the ears like that. She's got the most gorgeous little heart-shaped nose. And it'd come round under the chin, I should imagine. So I'm just sort of thinking about that direction and downwards like this, down the legs. And on the belly. And we could just do it downwards actually on all of it. And then the tail's just going to follow the line of that tail. Now that isn't very dark, but now I know where I'm at with my cat and we can do some fur. So we're going to start with the cold grey 3. Mine's quite small. I'm going to sharpen it as sharp as I can. There we go. And then put some little lines of fur all over. Now with fur, you want to do... You need to do your lines in proportion to the size of the thing that you are colouring. So if you're colouring something small, you need small lines. If you're colouring something big, you can do larger lines. You can, can do smaller ones, but larger ones are probably better and quicker. So we're doing fairly small little lines. Now you don't want your lines to all be exactly the same length and you don't want them to all start in exactly the same place. So you have to try to randomise it a little bit so it looks a little bit more scruffy but realistic at the same time. There is a trickiness with fur in that it can end up looking like you've... Um, You've just scribbled all over your page. So you have to be a little bit careful to try and make it look deliberate. I try. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes I'm going to... Um, yeah, actually, I think I'll go over this bit now. But this bit I want to do a little bit lighter um, eventually. But we'll leave it darker at the minute. And the tummy, maybe. But we'll just get some basic fur on first. got a few other details in this picture we've got the stars and the dots like we've had on the others so um i think um we put we'll be getting out our um, um glitter glitter that's the word glitter pens for those and uh, yeah about those leaf colours too. We might do something a bit different. In our top two pictures we did all bluey greens. It seemed to match the colours. Um, they probably match grey quite well but we might just do something a bit different just for the sake of it. Just because uh, a bit different. I've got to think of those eyes. What colour are my cat's eyes going to be? 
I don't know whether cats all have really different colour eyes or whether they don't. I don't know anything about cats. Well, I know a little bit about cats. So I'm sharpening my cold grey four. Okay, now I'm going to leave the insides of the ears, I think, paler. some little fur bits on the ears like that and then now if you go out of the lines with your fur it doesn't matter because I think that's what would happen you know it wouldn't have a completely straight edge not that cats have a drawn edge <laughs> none of us do funnily enough but um yeah, that's what, when you're learning art, isn't it? They say, well, you don't draw an outline because, uh, you know, things don't have outlines, which is fair enough. Uh, or they'll say, just draw the negative space. And then, what are you on? <laughs> but uh, anyway, drawing not my forte. That's hence the reason why I colour. So now you can start to see a bit of texture appearing on our cat from its short fur and it takes a bit of patience and time something that I don't always have I, t I tend to avoid doing animals if I'm not in the right mood because I can end up getting rather impatient and rushing so and that isn't going to work so you need time to do all the little bits of fur I do, I have to admit, I do sometimes cheat and not do fur, just colour it in flat, depending on what it is. Um, some, I did a, I think it was a horse in Kirby Rosanne's book and I just did it in pastel. <laughs> splosh, splosh, done. So I'm, this time I'm going to leave this little bit white, or lighter, not white, it's not white, it's grey. But a bit lighter. it's dry my son will be probably no I think the train comes in in about five ten minutes so he might be dry get home in the dry that'd be nice he doesn't always care he doesn't care that much but I think this is absolutely bucketing down it was interesting um I was saw this reel and it was talking about um UK or British people's words for rain we do have a lot bucketing down you can imagine really heavy but also raining cats and dogs when it's more than torrential <laughs> torrential being quite heavy <laughs> but uh yeah i do it is quite amusing also um soldiers just can you see the soldiers dancing my mum used to say to me when it was raining really really hard um because it's when you can see the raindrops rebounding back uh, off the ground and sometimes they can be like a couple of inches up that's always quite exciting um, you usually find it runs down our road in rivers so that's another um, can you see the river going down the road but it isn't, obviously isn't a river it's just a but our road slopes so that it's intended to do that it runs down to the end of the road and into the canal so uh, it's just the way it's built to do that which is good as it means it doesn't um, puddle around the houses and it does obviously a little bit but not uh, not to the extent it would if that wasn't there she's such a cute cat she's sitting there so good <laughs> she thinks she's a she I do but then I think all cats are she's and all dogs are boys because obviously they are why would you think any differently? So, <laughs> so now we're moving on to cold grey five, so getting even darker. Now I feel that we need to shape her nose a little bit because she's very flat and uh, she would have, there would be, it would be a bit darker under the eye and up to sort of there. I'm thinking here and a bit here 
so it makes her look more like she's got some shape in her face a bit under the eye that sort of down there a little. Just gives her a tiny bit more expression, I suppose, as well. And we could do a little bit here, I think. This is some sharpener. A little bit in the middle, thinking we could do like a little sort of V shape here, just to give her a little bit of a little bit of fur colour, and we could do another one here and here, but I think I'm just going to leave that one there. And it's going to be a little bit darker under her neck here, a little bit darker fur there sort of under here, a bit there, keep it lighter there, um, and sort of along here. So we're basically putting in our shadows without, um, but still keeping that sort of fur stroke a little bit, and along here. Now I think her little paws might be a little bit darker, just a tad like that. There we go, there she is. Now inside her ear, this isn't going to be fur, it's going to be a line there. Like that. make her tail a bit darker, particularly on the edges. And then we can, so she's probably going to stay black, not grey, I think, and black, grey, not black, even. But her little nose, I'm going to do in pink because she is just such a little cutie. So I'm going to use my pink Madder Lake just to do her little nose. Oh! <laughs> now I might just put a tad there and there. That's it. Just a tad. Now, I'm not sure about around the edge of her eyes yet. I'm going to do her eye, the centre of her eyes with this black, this bit. And her actual eye balls, is that the right word? I don't know what word I'm looking for. I'm going to do the irises in earth green yellowish. And I'm just going to, I want her to have green eyes, so I'm just going to put a really light layer of this on first. Like that. Then, yeah, now we're going to be sparing, okay? I don't want this going too dark, but it's just the colour that I want. So sharp, and I'm going to use the pine green, though it's really dark. So I'm just going to use a little bit of it on this edge here, and this edge here, and then in the middle, either side of the black bit, okay? So just a little bit, and then back to my earth green yellowish and going over the top. Again, I need to sharpen it, such a little area. <clears throat> and over the top of that, and just make the eye slightly darker like that. 
So we've got a lighter area in the centre. There she is. Another bit around the edge. I don't know if it should stay white. Maybe the tiniest bit of pink. Now this is going to be a much lighter application than we use for her nose in the corners. I can't stay in the lines. There we go. Just the smallest bit like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the eyes like that. Now we have the leaves. Now I'm going to use the colours that I used for the eyes. Let's have the pine green first. I'm going to use the pine green completely for these little ones here. So quite solid in the bottom, quite intense, and then less towards the tip. And, oh, we have one on the other side as well, don't we? Yes, same thing here. So we can gently fade it towards the tip. Like that. And then the other leaves, I'm going to use this as well. I'm going to use it at the bottom. And then fade it up. And then we're going to use our earth green yellowish guest to finish them off. So you don't have to make it that hard here because we're going to put the other colour on top. We can always add layers after. I think I'll put a bit on there too, just a light bit. <laughs> She's a cutie, isn't she? But now, I did say about making her black and she is quite pale. If you want to make her black, you certainly can add more layers. You can add some black fur on top of all the grey and she'll get darker and the more black you add, the darker she'll become. But my, I sort of changed my mind basically. Here's the earth green yellowish because um, I just thought she looked cute as she was without having any um, black. So I'm just putting this on top and you can see that we've got that fade from dark to light still showing through our layers. But because I'm putting this on top of all of it, it looks a little bit different to these, hopefully. And it should, hopefully, um, bring out her eyes a little bit. I don't know if it will. Not today a little bit of a shortish video but tomorrow we have quite a lot going on um, there's a lot of detail in tomorrow's right um, hmm. that's odd this is the silver jelly roll I've left it out by mistake uh, it's what I want for my stars and bits. Um, you could use a green actually I'm just gonna look I think the green might work yeah so I'm going to use the oops, green and silver. So I'm going to use the silver for the stars, like I did in the one, the last one. So I'm going to do that first. This is number 744. Well, while I'm just colouring this, just to say, because, you know, this is sponsored by Colouring Heaven, um, if you have gone to their website, I'm just making sure I've got the right pen, number 727, if you want to know a bit more about subscriptions and how it all works, you're welcome to ask me questions and I can try and find out the answers for you. Or you can, you know, go to their website and ask customer services. But um, either way, um, if you have questions, just ask um, about it. Um, the thickness of the paper I often get asked about, it's, it isn't massively thicker than my copy paper, a little bit thicker and it's a bit toothier but not too toothy so we can get a bit more, a few more layers on it but it is single sided 
so um, it means that you can can use wet mediums um, without um, worrying about it going through the bag but of course um, you will crumple not crumple um, warp the paper if you get it too wet because it just isn't watercolor paper but you know that happens in most coloring books anyway but there's our little cat little Halloween cat very cute um, so that one's done tomorrow as I say we have a bit more going on in our picture it looks quite fun we have a boot scary boot not really <laughs> So we'll take a bit longer, but um, here we go. Oh, my son's train. It sounds like it's five minutes late. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope that you have a super day and happy colouring.